All right, man. Uh, shout out to everybody, man. Um, get some lion stuff on the road. Yeah, I ain't cover preseason. I only seen bits and pieces of the game. I've been like super duper busy, for real. So it's preseason, but uh, I caught some little stuff, little clips of the games and stuff. And uh, when the regular season get here, I'll be in full swing. I'll be back producing videos on the weekend and shit. So. Stuff starting to kind of slow down for me once again, so I'm like, but uh, sometimes just need to take a little ass break, you know how it go. But uh, that's all about uh, should the Lions continue to play the starters in the preseason, get a dress rehearsal going. I know some talk about them not wanting to play Jared Goff. Um, I think they need to play a half of football and a drive or two into the third quarter, regardless. That needs to happen. I mean, before last year, they didn't play too many snaps uh, before last year. If my memory serves me correctly, I don't know if they had much of a dress rehearsal last year. I think they might have played a drive or something, a drive or two. They need to. You can't afford going into Kansas City not in a type of rhythm. I think they need to play the first half and the drive or two into the, into the ball starters into the uh, third quarter of the next preseason game. Um, and I wouldn't rule. I mean, I really would have played them the first two drive in the first preseason game because now I'm going to got three preseason, pre, three preseason, preseason games. So, in my opinion, that's how I would have did it. Real talk. Um, but I know you don't want to risk the injury. And that's what people are saying. Like, oh, we don't want to risk the injury or whatever. And I definitely understand the thought about that. But hey, you can't be concerned about an injury. If he's going to get injured, they're going to get injured. It might not. It might happen in the regular season. It might happen in the preseason. But you can't go into Kansas City without a rhythm because it's going to get real ugly. Yes, the offense has some continuity. They have some camaraderie. But then when you start adding guys like Jameer Gibbs in there, you know, it's like in David Montgomery, you got to get live snaps. We're handing him the football. You got to get live snaps going in the football. Same with Jameson Williams. You know, you're going to be, you know, depending on new receivers like Josh Reynolds and not new, but you're going to be depending on him as your number one on the outside, really, because St. Brown going to be on the inside a lot. So, yeah, they need to get, you know, familiar with Sam LaPorta. They need to play a lot of live football. Even if it is versus the twos or three, whatever, you just need that, them, 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 that rhythm. You just need that actual rhythm. You know, so that's something that's something to think about for a minute. You need that actual live rhythm. So I know some people may beg to differ what I'm saying, but I don't think they made it to a point, even though they had a top offense. And you can throw that out the window what you did last season because you got different pieces. Kansas City got continuity, even though they breaking in new receivers. Because in reality, Cardavis Tony is still a new receiver. They got the kid from Clemson that had the spinal surgery that's coming back. They like him a lot. Um, so, you know, but they, they got a system. You know, Mahomes make the game easy. Us, we don't have a proven winning system. And I think they're going to have to have I think Ben Johnson got to get better. And I said this before, in the run design game. I don't like they design runs. It don't seem to be enough creativity. And I don't like, I don't just like how it ain't enough hit and go. Like, this is my one critique about him is the lack of creativity in the run design. And how much they throw it on first down. I'm pretty sure it's something analytical about why they throw it on first down so much. I'm pretty sure that. Um. But, yeah, they, they need that rhythm. Because if you go in Kansas City lethargic, you go in Kansas City not ready to play, and you ain't you ain't 100%, you're going to get embarrassed. And that's one thing in the back of everybody's mind, no matter how optimistic you guys are about the Lions, the one thing y'all feel, it'll be a moral victory if they can keep the game close. And you got to get out of that mindset. 
they got to come in with the mindset. They got to. They want to win that game. I don't want to just go to Kansas City and and and, and lose by field goal or or get mad at the refs because they made they blown a call or whatever. No, that ain't what I want. You want to go there and win, even though I don't. I think they got zero percent chance of winning that game. I'm not gonna lie to you. It's ring night, you know. This is, you know, they didn't want to put Chicago in there because Chicago was gonna get embarrassed. Um, so that's that's why that's why they did it that way. That's why they did it that way. We food trucks be everywhere. I take a good food truck real quick. And I, they don't pay me to advertise around here neither. Warren and Livernois is a food truck. I'm going to say it's a Sunoco Tim Hortons gas station. It's called Tough Tacos. Oh, my mama, that my motherfuckers, man. I don't know what they doing. And regarding making them tacos. But, yo. Tough Tacos. I ain't even gonna lie to y'all. Tough tacos, bruh. Amazing. They are amazing. They are amazing, bruh. They food good as hell. Warning, I think it's Warren and Livernois. It's at the the gas station they got the Tim Hortons on. It's always to the to the if you stand in front of us to the right of the Tim Hortons in the corner. Good as fuck. Bang. But yeah, you need you want the uh, you want to come into the Kansas City game with a rhythm. You want to come in there with a rhythm, and you think about the new pieces they throwing out there. Listen to me, yeah, the offensive line kind of intact. But guess what? High tie ain't been there, but Laporta, new piece. James Mitchell, pretty much a new piece. He played his son last year, but pretty much a new piece in my opinion. Um, you go, Jameer Montgomery. The handoffs are critical. You ain't gonna be throwing them both because they both can catch. That's four. That's four new pieces. That's critical right there. So, yeah, you want you want to come in with a rhythm. Trust and believe me. Listen to me. You come into Kansas City without a rhythm, you gonna get embarrassed. And that's one thing in all y'all minds that can't happen. They can't go out there and get embarrassed. A lot of y'all mind is still in the SOL. They just gotta keep it close and get a more victory. And then beat Seattle and then beat Atlanta and go two and one. That's y'all mindset. Trust and believe me. I know. I mean, these screeps. So let me know what you girls and guys think. Thumbs up the video. Share the video. Subscribe to the channel. Next subscribe button is the bell icon button. Hit all notifications. Increase the chance to notifications. We go live or drop a video. Financially, you want to support the channel. Cash app, dollar sign, CJ Good 313. Venmo, CJ Good 313. PayPal link description. Hit the link tree. Find me on Twitter, Instagram, Spotify, Anchor, Cash App, Venmo, PayPal, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, and whatnot. Appreciate the love and support. Peace.